So, last event of these 2011 Track World Championships from Appledorn in Holland. The women's Kieran final. And uh, there's a definite last day of school, end of term feeling in the track. There's uh, not a lot of people left. Most of the crowd are very unfortunately gone, but uh, nevertheless, big world title here. This is the final uh, big, big title on offer. It's Mustafa, who went through very, very well, I have to say, uh, our nearest the blue line. Shrine World, and Amir's world sprint champion and world team sprint champion. Clara Sanchez has been a double world champion in the Kirin. Long time ago, though, now. I think it was four and five, or was it five and six? But a long time ago, anyway. Yeah. Lisa Guerra Rodriguez of Cuba, who again went through very well, and Olga Panarina, World 500 champion from this year. And Amir's will be uh, very, very keen to get this one. She's quite happy to be third. Mustafa takes the wheel of the Dirty Pacer with Guo of China in the uh, red and yellow behind her. Then Anna Mears of Australia in that white skin suit with the gaffer tape over the arms to cover up World Championships bands. Uh, she's run out of skin suits, as Tony was saying. Clara Sanchez next, and Lisa Guerra Rodriguez just being pushed to the back of the line now behind Olga Panarina. Two names, David. Who's going to win and who's your outside bet? Outside bet is Guerra Rodriguez. Winner will, has to be Anna Mears. Yeah, I'll agree with you with Mears. I'll go Guo for the outside bet, but I think Anna Mears, barring any uh, accidents or some real bad luck, I think she's uh, she's got the gas to take this one. She'll lead it out, I think. Six laps, yeah. six, six laps left. Surely tall, dirty pace rider, I have to say. Yeah. Probably put the saddle up for him, wouldn't you? Uh, no, that would ruin the look, wouldn't it? Yeah, the knees stuck right out. Mustafa beginning to look over the shoulder. Whoa, it never ever does that until right at the edge. Just keeps that solid position, keeps looking down to the rear wheel of the rider in front. And Amir is totally solid as well. Clara Sanchez hunched over the bars as she is always. Olga Panarina, we're never really sure how good she's going to be, but she is good. She's marvellous. And Guerra Rodriguez, a very fluid rider, much lighter build of rider, right at the back at the moment, not the place she would like to be. She really needs to think about moving up. Another one of those endurance type riders, aren't they? She looks very much like an endurance rider. But Guo, she, uh, she's not bothered about looking around. No one's going to come past the dirty places. She's quite happy to deal with whatever's thrown her. Guerra Rodriguez, as we said, has to move around the outside. She's in the wrong place. She wants to get near the front. She'll be careful, be careful. Now she can go. She had to wait till the dirty pacer pulled off. She gets into the front, slows the pace up a little bit. Mustafa just behind. Guo now looks over the shoulder. Mears too. Opens it up. Guo opens it up around the outside. We're not on the bell lap yet. Oh, where has gone down? Mustafa pulls over onto the uh, onto the blue band. Here comes the bell, and it's Guo leading Mears, who goes around over the top. Clara Sanchez, double world champion at this event. On the wheel, she's coming over the top of uh, Mears. Mears is going to have to fight very hard if she wants to get her first current world championship. She's got it. She opens up the gas. Anna Mears is world champion. And I can tell you exactly where Anna Mears won that. Halfway around the last bank, and she just stuck a little bit of a flick into Clara Sanchez. She didn't go out the red line, but she just gave her a little flick, oh, and away she went. Guerra Rodriguez very upset, she just went down, but Anna Mears is the world champion. Three world championship jerseys, so she can take the gaffer tape off now. Yeah, I'm trying to get uh, Sean Eady's attention in the track centre to tell him to take the tape off, but I just can't. Yeah. I don't think he'll be looking up this way, actually, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Here's uh, a replay. Uh, Sanchez gave it her best shot, double world champion at this event. But uh, the horsepower was too much. And it was halfway through turn three, actually, that she started to open up that gas again. Yeah, and she did, really did have the gas, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. So really sorry for Guerra. 
Yep. She's, uh, yeah. she's up and about. I wonder what she had her hands hooked over the bars for a minute. I thought for a second she was holding a collarbone, but uh, no, here she is, look. Oh, she clashes with Whoa. Oh. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. She was a bit ragged, though, one has to say. So yeah, give her a look. She moves, it's, it's her who moves up. Ooh, she gets a right clout on the head. From her knee, wasn't it? Her knee clouted her. <laughs> Nasty. But you've got to say, that was Guerra moving up yeah. the track. And Mustafa did very well to avoid her. Yeah. As well. Another world championship, though, for this lady. Australia, double carrying world champions. Uh, it's all a bonus for her now, isn't it? All a bonus. Anna Mears is the world Kirin champion. She adds that to two championships she's already got this time around. Some people would say that was just plain greedy, but I would say it shows she's the best women sprinter of the championships. She gets the Kirin title ahead of Olga Panarina and uh, Clara Sanchez.